Well guys, I'm at Scotney Castle and uh, going to get some autumn colours with the RX10 Mark IV and uh, GoPro, I think it's got issues. So it won't be on for long. So yeah, for some reason the GoPro was acting a bit weird, which you'll hear about in a minute. Um, so Scotney Castle, beautiful bit of uh, National Trust property. Uh, absolutely stunning in the autumn uh, as well as uh, Sheffield Park uh, as well which is worth looking at um, yeah beautiful day uh, sunshine nice and low in the sky so you're getting some longer shadows now uh, but as you can see here plenty of range with that 24 to 600 mil f4 lens from the RX10 Mark IV all right so this GoPro is completely possessed is it because it's Halloween today so one minute ago it was showing 1% battery. Now it's showing full. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> full fun. So, just having a wander around, just appreciating the, uh, the stunning scenery there and just snapping away so you can see a couple of the shots as I take them. Fun, fun, fun. Anyway, I haven't been using the uh, the RX10 Mark IV much because obviously I've been getting used to using the A7R Mark IV. Now I'm acclimatised to that. Oh, some mushrooms. Um, I can uh, get back in using this. I've kind of forgotten how good the RX10 Mark IV is. The range it's got, how sharp it is, um, it's just one hell of a bit of kit and apparently there is a firmware uh, update coming so that could make it even better. So as you can see here, super sharp and I didn't even have to get very close to the mushrooms to uh, get the shot. There we go, look at that. I actually got this shot just in the sort of nick of time. Literally by the time I'd walked around a little bit further and then taken a few shots and actually started to head back um, the wind has got up and actually completely and utterly ruined that reflection so a lot of it is about good timing and uh, you know it is absolutely stunning down there uh, to get reflections like that it was it was really really nice so anyway carried on walking As you can hear in the video there, how windy it suddenly became, just appeared from nowhere. Uh, but I managed to get um, some nice sort of backlit uh, leaf shots as such before they fell out of the tree. Um, but it just shows you how well the autofocus works because they were moving around a lot, the uh, branches. Lovely and sharp images, no troubles whatsoever. Uh, shooting about one two thousandth of a second uh, f4 to f5.6, depending on uh, what I was doing. Um, anyway, there was some. These probably aren't dragonflies or they're or darts or something like that. I'm not sure exactly what they are. But obviously they're doing some kind of mating or laying eggs or something. Not really sure 100% what they're doing. But uh, this is what the RX-10 Mark IV is, what I find is so handy to have. Is the high, the HFR, it's called the high frame rate uh, mode. So you can go 250, 500 or 1000 frames per second. These are at 250. Uh, 250 is probably the best quality. 500 is still very usable, 1000 unless you're very close to the actual subject with plenty of detail I don't very rarely use it so um, but what a bit of kit you know it's really really cool to get stuff like that and with the 24 frames per second stills just burst shooting I was getting shots like this um, slightly silhouetted um, but you, you know you can just pick and choose your shots as, as you want them uh, which works really nicely they were just dipping in, so I don't know if it's laying eggs or, or just having, I don't know. Um, here's another another uh, dragonfly that I spotted. Just basically, I think they're because the sunshine is now not as quite as warm as it was, they haven't got quite as much energy, so they do sit around a bit and obviously recharge, which that one there did. He just sort of slid off the leaf, which is quite cool. And there's a fly to right there and a fly to your left. Um, but it's amazing watching them cruise around. But you've got to remember, this happened within a second or so. So that's why you haven't seen the camera move at all because I haven't even reacted to how, how much it's moved. Um, obviously it lands back down on where it was. Well, I found a small tree. <laughs> Difficult, really, isn't it? Mm. 
So this is where the 600mm f4 lens comes into play and your tiny spot focus point. Um, basically, you can't really see on the video here, but there's quite a few birds eating the little berries and the seeds off this um, this tree. Um, they're sort of like, I don't know, 20 feet, 25 feet up in the tree, slightly higher some of them. As you can see here, quite easy to get. Um, some backlit, some not um, by the sun, but really cool. I'm looking straight up in the air there, literally straight up at him, no trouble whatsoever. Um, super sharp, and they're they're moving around. They're constantly on the on the move. The uh, the little birds there, they don't sort of stop at all. So you've got to be pretty much on it. The brilliance of that uh, little tiny spot focus means you can actually pinpoint through between uh, branches and and like the seed pods and stuff like that to get the shot that you actually wanted and it worked really nicely and you'll see it in a second on a um a blackbird where i've completely gone through the sort of seed pods as such and still got a sharp eye of the uh, the blackbird which it still blows me away two and a bit years later down the line that the rx10 mark 4 is so so good um you know it's it still blows my mind every day uh, when i'm using it so you can see there sharp eye on the uh, the blackbird so really really pleased on how how the camera still works and the fact there's nothing really out there uh, i think there's a panasonic that's pretty good um but you still haven't got quite the range and the speed of the autofocus and everything like that and you know it's just such a usable camera and with it in the bag next to my the um a7r mark 4 now it's just really really good to have you know I don't have to carry a big lens around anymore so much I would quite like the 200 or 600 mil but you need to be willing to carry that thing around it's quite a large lens where the convenience of the RX10 Mark IV in the bag all the time or just as a day out camera it's so so good just to have in its small bag you can go anywhere traveling whatever you want to do just days out you know this that, and the other and the fact that you can do so much from the 24 millimeters to 600 obviously the super slow motion um, which is so so usable for capturing certain things in full manual as well so you've got your full aperture control ISO control and your shutter speed control in the HFR mode so anyway guys um, that's just a little wander around in the nice autumn sunshine just making the most of it before it chucking down rain again uh, which it's now doing um, so please subscribe please click the notification bell and uh, please ask questions you know don't be afraid to ask I'll quite happily ask them answer them um, so yeah I'll see you soon